Okay, a continuous income stream problem. We want to know what the present and future values will be of a continuous income stream of $5,000 per year for 12 years if money can earn 1.3% annual interest compounded continuously. So off to the side, I've gone ahead and included the present value and future value formulas. Now to get the future value, we need to find the present value first. So thinking about all the different information that was thrown our direction. We're given a function, f of t was a constant $5,000 per year. So I'm going to fill that in for f of t. We're given a time frame, big T, of 12 years. And then we were given a rate, r, of 1.3% interest compounded continuously. Now I'm going to go ahead and make that into a decimal for our purposes. So two decimal places over. All right, so our present value, pv, is going to be given by the integral from 0 to 12 of 5,000 e raised to the negative 0.013t dt power. So hopefully that makes sense where everything got filled in. Now what we want to do is actually integrate this. So let's zoom in a little bit and think about how do we integrate this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it with the 5,000 out in front because constants can come out in front and just come along. But then we still have this exponent, which isn't a nice simple t. So what we're going to have to do in this case is do a u substitution. So our u substitution, we want u to be the inner function. So in this case, it's going to be the exponent, negative 0.013t. Next, we're going to go ahead and get a du on the left side. Taking a derivative on the right side, we get zero point, negative 0 0.013, and we put a dt on this side. All right, so we can fill in, replace our entire exponent with a u, but we don't have anything but a dt that we want to really replace in uh, for the rest of the right-hand side there. So let's rearrange this just slightly moving that constant to the other side. So I'm going to multiply by 1 over negative 0.013 so that we can get a dt on one side by itself. All right, from here, this is going to look like 5,000. The integral from, let's hang up on the integral uh, <laughs> right quick. All right, our bounds of integration I'm going to be careful about. Now as I fill in and replace the dt, the du from the left-hand side can go at the end. That's typical. But then what about that constant that was with the du? The 1 over negative 0.013. I'm going to go ahead and put that out in front because it is a constant. All right, now back to our bounds of integration. Our bounds of integration, initially that 0 and 12 were both values for t because t was our variable. But now our variables changed over from t to u. So we want to switch over those bounds of integration as well. So as we do that, let's fill into our let statement here. I'm going to change over to u values by going negative 0.013, and I'm going to evaluate that t value of 12 in here, and change it over to a u value of negative 0 0.156. Negative 0 0.156 will be our upper bound, and our lower bound still remains at 0, because as I fill into our let statement, 0 times anything works out to be 0. All right, so now that everything is in terms of u, let's go ahead and integrate. It's going to be a nice, easy integration because it's e to a power. So it's just going to be e to the u power evaluated between 0 and negative 0 0.156. I'm going to go ahead and fill in our bounds of integration. So e to the negative 0 0.156 minus e to the 0 power. And that e to the 0 power at the end becomes a 1. So 5,000 over negative 0 0.013 e to the negative 0 0.156 minus 1 works out to be our present value. What it's worth today is going to be Five, five, fifty-five thousand five hundred fifty-four dollars and sixteen cents, rounded to the nearest cent. So that's our present value, PV. 
Now, if we want to find our future value, which we do, we're going to fill this into our future value formula. So our future value will be given by our present value, 5555 5, 5, 5, 4.16 times e raised to the rate, still the same rate, 0 0.013 that we had before. Um, and then t is up in the exponent as well. But um, our time in this case is going to be 12, which works out to be $64,933.16, rounded to the nearest cent. All right, so I hope this helps out as you're working on present value and future value of continuous income stream problems. Good luck.